Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Bait here, back again with my Phoenix Wright Let's Play. And last time, uh, the cross-examination of Jake Marshall continued. We got a bunch of answers, but uh, still, there's a bunch of uh, questions left to be asked. So, what I'm going to do is, um, here, this is the sentence where we last left off. I just can't forget the SL9 incident, you know why. We uh, pressed him, but uh, we didn't really get any answers, so what I'm planning to do is uh, present the SL9 incident files. Let's go. Officer Marshall, I think I understand. I think I know why you care so much about the SL9 incident. Sounds like you've been sipping too much uh, cactus juice, partner. I have the SL9 incident file right here. The name Marshall is mentioned in here. A list of murder victims, indeed. Nail Marshall. Mm-hmm, indeed. Are you related to this man? Nail Marshall? Yeah, I'm sure you heard the name. Two years ago, here we go again. Oh, he received the same lousy prosecutor award you got. What? A prosecutor? You must be talking about the King of Prosecutors award. Indeed. No, I remember. Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He handled the SL9 case before I did. That's right, he was killed. And the case fell into your hands. But what's his relation to you? He was my brother. <gasps> oh my. He was a brother. He was investigating the murders with uh, Damon Gant, a uh, chief detective at the time. Uh -huh. Oh, so that's him. That's him on the picture that I was, I was already wondering earlier. Quite some time ago when we saw this other cowboy dude. And it was him, it was Neil Marshall. A gr the, the group of the detectives I was part of uh, worked under, under them, okay. We were desperate to prosecute the killer. Joe Dark. Uh huh. That's him indeed. My brother fought Dark and was killed. That was the first time Dark left behind any evidence. That was all we needed. He was arraigned and uh, insurgated something, and the case was finally closed. At least according to the public records. What do you mean? My brother couldn't have been killed. Couldn't have been killed by Joe Dark. Oh, I know my brother better than anyone. No one could have beaten him in a fight. But we are talking about the serial kill killer. And I'm not talking about breakfast here. Oh! Anyways, bad joke. I digress. And that's it. That's your reason for your insane actions. There's more to my brother's death than what the records say. No matter how much you try to hide it, you can't fool me. Doom! Well, at least one thing's for certain. Now we know what happened at the police department's police department on the day of the crime. That was the last day the SL9 case would could be reopened. Yes. Not satisfied with its uh, resolution. Resolution Officer Marshall planned to steal the evidence. Mm hmm. Disguising himself as Detective Goodman, he entered the evidence room. Officer Meekings confronted him, so he rendered him unconscious and fled. Yes, this mystery has finally been cleared up. No murder took place at the police department that day. 
Which leads to conclusion that is really bad news bears for us, because that still makes Lana Sky our main suspect, and that is pretty much what we wanted to clear that she would not be the murderer, but it kind of still looks like she is. Hmm. <sighs> <laughs> The things that happen by chance never cease to amaze. At the exactly same time as the murder at the prosecutor's office. Hmm. This fake murder was going on at the police department. Chance? It has got to be more than that. Doom. So, if no one was murdered at the police department on the day of the crime, that means the murder in the prosecutor's office parking lot was the real one. Which turn, which in turn means the only, only one person could have committed the crime, Lana Sky. Yeah. Objection. But wait, the verdict hasn't, wasn't reached in yesterday's trial. Yes, which is why we examined the incident at the department today. But, mommy, there's only one reason the defendant was not convicted yesterday. Was not, yes. There yet remained mystery of the simultaneous murder at the police department, which is now solved. It seems to me this boy got the draw on you, partner. All the mysteries at the police department have been uncovered. No contradictions. Remain, the murder took place at the prosecutor's office. The only suspect is Lana Sky. There was no errors in the testimony of the witness, Angel Star. If you have a response, make it one word or less. Well, I guess that word would be objection. Arrgh, or yeah, that works too. Hmm. <laughs> I rest my case. Doom. It seems this trial has has reached its its uh, conclusion. There is no room for doubt. Well done, Mr. Wright. Thank you. Thanks to you, I didn't need to waste my time disproving the alleged murder at the police department. There's no doubt what I proved today is true. The apparent murder on the security camera's tape really was fake. But I didn't realize that it would end up proving Lana's guilty. Hmm, now then, the time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds a defendant objection. Hold it. Oh! Where did she came here? Your Honor, wait! Emma! The defense has an objection! A scientific objection. Really? Right? Uh, you tell me. Yeah. Mr. Wright! Are you this girl's guardian? Your Honor, are uh, in a sense. Please, Your Honor, all I'm asking for is a minute of your time. Please hear me out. Mr. Edgeward, please. Hmm. I don't want to leave any loose ends. You want a minute? I'll give you three. Hmm. I was kinda in a shock. I mean, finding out the SL9 incident referred to the Joe Dark killings. Now that she mentions it, the name of both Sky sisters were in that file. But that's when I figured it out. I mean, what Officer Marshall was trying to uh, do that day. So I knew his fingerprint had nothing to do with the crime. That left only one thing, the other handprints. You mean the traces of blood found on Detective Gumshoe's locker? No fingerprints were found on it, right? That still leaves us 
questions, yes. No, but I figured if I examined it scientifically, I'd be sure to find a clue. So I ran over there and looked at it again. Really? Did you find something? Um, no. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, uh, I guess I'm not much of a scientific investigator after all. <sighs> um, is that all? Please don't be mad. I'm just a high school student. But you said you had scientific evidence. And you found nothing in the end. Why did you come here? Ugh, and I'm just an attorney. But, Mr. Ryan, those traces of blood are the only clue we have. If we can find something wrong with them... Please, Mr. Wright, you're a professional. If anyone, anyone can save Lana, it's you. Me? Oi, oh boy. Time's up. Now then, Mr. Wright. With regard to the incident uh, at the police department, does any reasonable doubt remain? Um... It appears the defense is troubled by the other blood mark. Yes, that is still a mystery. Looking at the floor plans, a handprint was discovered around here. Is there a problem with this? Mr. Wright, I'm sorry I can't be more of use. Still... If you can't find anything wrong with that blood mark, Lana will be... Please answer my question, Mr. Wright. We don't have all day. Yes, Your Honor. If I ever needed to concentrate, it's now. What could be wrong with the handprint on Detective Gumshoe's locker? Could there be something I'm missing? Of course I'm going to object. Boom! This handprint left at the crime scene clearly shows a contradiction. Haha! <laughs> the only thing that seems clear is your grasping. You've been staring pretty intensely, intently at those floor plans. Tell me, is there a problem with them? Yes, this is strange. Take a good look at these floor plans. Something is missing. Missing? You mean something hasn't been drawn on here? Yes, yeah, something that when uh something that uh, when drawn you completely change the meaning of the blood mark. Oh Hmm, let us pray the defense isn't simply uh, trying to buy time. Very well, Mr. Wright. With all this evidence here, there's got to be something I can use. The question is, which item can prove something is missing in the floor plans? Actually, I have something in my mind. Let me check this videotape. Kaching. The blue badger is in the way. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to present the blue badger. Because it was clearly in front of the locker. Which just might be the contradiction we're looking for. I think I am on something right here. What about that piece of plywood? The Blue Badger, the mascot of the police force. Defender of truth, guardian of proof. Haha, <laughs> that rhymes. Kinda. Explain yourself, Mr. Wright. I shall. Please take a look at the floor plans of the crime scene. The Blue Badger is not here. So? So watch what happens when I 
when we put him in. This is where he was dancing at the time of the crime. Well, well, what? <gasps> oh, that's right. So long as the blue badger is dancing here, it would have been impossible to place a handprint at this spot of on the locker. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what? What is this order? What does this mean? Uh, just exactly what does that mean? It means it can't be done, yet there is a print. Although, the Patcher was just dancing there. But you know, it does kind of seem strange that there would be a handprint there, you know? So, let's see, let's see. What are you saying? The blood traces were undeniably found on that locker. Don't look at me, I didn't put it there. It's the right thing through it scientifically. I'm a, um, on the afternoon. Officer Meekings was the one who brought the blue badger to the evidence room, right? After he put it down, it would have been impossible to leave a handprint on that locker. So that must mean this blood mark was left there before the blue badger was brought in. Just one moment, I will not allow such a uh, far-fetched uh, Baldur dash in my courtroom. It may sound far-fetched, Your Honor, but it's the only possible explanation. On February 21st, in the police department's evidence room, blood was spilled not once, but twice. Oi! Pinho! One time was captured on the tape taken by the security camera. Officer Meekings cut his hand, uh, from which uh, a trivial amount of blood fell. The problem is, the other time, someone bled prior to the struggle shown on the tape. Doom. It had to have been Detective Goodman when he was really murdered. Ha ha! That's ridiculous, I refute you. Objection! The murder portra portrayed in the security tape has proven to be fake. However, the magic word, that does not explain the blood mark found on the locker. Objection! So then, assuming this murder you proponed really happened, when did it take place? I demand you show evidence that it proves it, uh, proves it occurred. Hmm. When did the first uh, incident occur? The surmise the defense claimed that prior to Officer Meeking, Meeking's being uh, cut by Jake Marshall, <laughs> disguised as detective. Oh my god, this twists. Oh, these plot twists are twisting my brains. Oh. Anyways, Goodman, uh, another incident took place in the evidence room. The blood mark on the locker proves this. Very well, then tell us. When did this first incident occur? Pro proof must be presented. Proof that shows uh, when murder took place. There's only one piece of evidence that shows can show that. Now then, will the defense please present its evidence? Uh, what shows when the first crime took place? Hmm. What do I have? I think what I have actually in mind would be this the ID card record there is still one mystery remaining 
at 4.20 p.m. A lucky number 7 entered the room. And that is when the murder could have possibly happened. And let me just check... Uh, is this the... Yes, this is the autopsy report. Yes. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Yes, 4 p.m. and 5.30. So that actually goes along with the timestamp of the murder. So, and next time when we come back, I am going to present, most likely <laughs> what I'm going to do is present this. Pre present this ID card record and where we are going to see where that gets us. So that is definitely going to be interesting. And uh, hopefully we're going to get more answers, but so far more answers has meant that we are going to have more questions so that will be next time so definitely again stay tuned for that so until next time this is the flaming spade signing out peace